Remember all this? Moats, duck houses, dry rot, biscuits even. The staff on MPs' expenses claim forms ranged from the bizarre to the mundane. Now it's time for them to face the consequences, as Sir Christopher Kelly's report into MPs' expenses is finally being published. He's had over 700 written submissions and heard evidence from a range of witnesses at nine public hearings. The report will make recommendations about the future structure of the expenses regime, but we've already heard some of the things he'll be saying. No more claims on second homes for those living within commuting distance from London and the generous golden goodbye for MPs leaving Parliament will also be cut. Sir Christopher's Committee on Standards in Public Life is also recommending an end to all claims for mortgage interest payments and it's also widely expected to recommend an end to MPs employing their spouses or relatives. The news got an angry reaction in the Commons last week, although most MPs say they're powerless to resist the reforms. Martin Salter is a Labour MP. I could well see them not getting home till quarter to one in the morning and possibly having to be up again at uh, the crack of dawn to get back to be on the Today programme or to be to do departmental meetings at half past seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I just don't think that's sustainable. MP Roger Gale's wife works for him. My wife's been working for me for 27 years. She's very highly qualified. She's very experienced. She serves my constituents and my constituency extremely well. And bless them, people tend to say that. Um, going to sack her? Why? don't really like family members it works um, it's work for us it's work for many others and it can be a very lonely life being a member of Parliament and to be able to have the person you're married to um, helping you out and working as a team uh, is, is just the best way. Harriet Harman will be making a statement to the Commons later, setting out the long-awaited changes to the existing expenses and allowances system for MPs. But there won't be a vote held on them. Instead, the proposals will go to the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, which was set up at the height of the expenses scandal. They'll decide which of the recommendations to implement. But we still don't know when they'll announce that final decision. So, more waiting for MPs very anxious to know what changes this man might make to the way they do their job.